You're listening to Tipsy, Tipsy Book, Book Reads. Reads. I'm Rebecca. I'm Jess. I'm Sarah. I'm Natalie. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Helen. And we're, we're Tipsy. tipsy. <laughs> Too many books on my TBR. Too many books on my TBR. Yeah. This podcast is like a book club for the antisocial. We make a drink inspired by the book we read and talk crap about life and fictional characters. We really hope you listen and drink along. Side effects of listening to this podcast may include reading vivaciously, extreme bouts of laughter, tipsiness from craft cocktails, talking shit about life and fictional characters. Listen at your own risk. Just a warning. This podcast is explicit. We are all over 21 and there are spoilers. We, we warned you. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome to Tipsy Book Reads. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Yes, we're so excited of for this. <laughs> Yay! So before we start and get into the book, I have a question for you, Jess. What you drinking? So tonight we are drinking fairy wine. And of course, it's based on our girl, Rosalina. Mm -hmm. So I made, uh, we made cocktails <laughs> and mocktails. So the cocktail is, I made a strawberry rose simple syrup, and we have gin, lemon juice, and sparkling wine. And for the mocktail option, I just used non-alcoholic gin and non-alcoholic sparkling wine. So. Cheers! 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 cheers. 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 <laughs> virtual cheers! Yeah. Yeah. Virtual cheers! Cheers! Perfect. Mm. Okay. So good. So delicious. Just did a good job. Yes. yes. Thank you. It is Amazing. delightful. It's like light and refreshing and very rose. Yes. Like yes. summer realm. Yeah. Yes. I was like, that's Stuff kind of. Definitely summer realm. Absolutely. That's kind of what inspired me when I got to that scene with in the first book with Dayton and Rosalina. And she's like drinking the fairy wine. And she's like yes. very refreshing and bubbly. This is it. Fairy and wine. Like, yes. Oh. And then, of course, I had to throw roses in there for our girl. Of course. <laughs> I can totally see her drinking this marigold making up a batch. It'd be yes. great. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Drinking a lot of it, yes. yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyways, if you guys are ready for questions, I think Sarah has some questions to start off with. Yeah, yes, I do. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, which I think is an extremely interesting thing about you guys, is how is it writing with your sister? How does that work? What is the process? What started that? Um, so we've been writing together ever since we were like young teens. Um, mm -hmm. And before that, we would always play stories together. So our favorite thing was like Barbie dolls um, as yeah. kids. So just yeah. hearing the Barbie. stories together right. has always felt really natural. And we've definitely refined our process over the years. Yeah, with uh, Bonded by Thorns, it's uh, I think our 11th book we've written together. Um, oh, wow. And with wow. that one, we, we did a process of basically choosing what we wanted to write about, our, our fairy tale retelling, why choose. Uh, and then we went through and created a super detailed outline uh, where we just brainstormed everything. We created the um, what chapter would be what together. And then from there, we divvy it up and we choose who's going to write the first draft of which chapter. And okay. then we swap work, edit each other's mm -hmm. work. Uh, and then we print out the entire book and sit side by side <laughs> and read it out line by line and edit it as we read out loud. I love that. And wow. that's sort of the, the main process. meat and potatoes of the process. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you guys find that you like always kind of like agree on the same things or do you have very differing points of view on it? Uh, I've been, it, we haven't really disagreed on much or anything for this series. I think we just, we talk it out during like the main brainstorm and like outline process and it's always kind of like what's best for the book and the characters so then you know we can convince each other of that but i can't think of any big disagreements we've had for this no. series i think we we generally are on the same sort of of ideas um and if one of us has an idea the other person isn't afraid to be like no that's terrible <laughs> throw it out. i hate it and we don't get upset about it we're like yeah you're right that probably wasn't good <laughs> and so yeah, yeah, that's probably the worst it gets is mm -hmm. just, uh, okay, that idea is gone. Yeah. <laughs> but, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess kind of to go along with that, how is it writing spicy things with your sister? Is that <laughs> awkward at all? <laughs> like, how does that work? <laughs> Maybe like when we very first started writing very spicy scenes, it was a little awkward, but through the process, it almost becomes more technical. We're like, we're, we rewrote <laughs> very spicy scene multiple times in Forged by Malice, and it was such a, a, a process to figure out where everybody's limbs were and stuff. It was 
<laughs> more technical than sexy at that point. Yeah, <laughs> we kind of joke that the spice scenes are almost like like a battle scene in yeah. a way. Like and choreographed. Yeah, that's, no, that's a good you know, way to look it's at it. more. You know, sometimes we we don't really worry about it with each other, but yeah. I'll think, oh my gosh, my audiobook narrator is gonna have to read <laughs> these. Uh, that that bothers me more. But other than that, yeah, it really is sort of clinical at a point mm -hmm. where it, this that point, makes sense. That makes yeah. total sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is this logistically possible? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So Literally, we had head. like diagrams and like Helen was drawing it out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should save those for like, you right. know, like to sell them at some point. Yeah, right. sign them and sell them. Yeah. The museum Etsy. at the end will be all these post-it notes of weird right. people. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. I would love it. It could be like your own annotated version yeah. of everything and put your little post-its in there as it goes. Yeah, totally. I love that. Yeah. That's great. That's yeah. awesome. Well, kind of going off what you were saying about the retelling, what inspired you to do a Beauty and the Beast retelling? Uh, I think Beauty and the Beast has been one of our favorite fairy tales growing up, obviously. Um, we loved Belle. She was the bookworm, and I think a lot of She's us can best. relate to her She's in best. that way. And I think it's just such a classic story. We wanted to see, like, what we could do with our own take on it. Absolutely. Like, we joke, we're, like, huge Disney adults. Uh -huh. So getting yes. a, able Same. to um, explore one of our favorite fairy tales from childhood. And then um, we just felt also that Beauty and the Beast, it it's works so well in the fantasy romance genre. Mm -hmm. But um, to add in the why choose, we felt like it just was a match made in heaven for that. So, yeah, that's kind of why we, we ran with that idea. No, I love that. Belle's totally my favorite as well. Mine Hands too. Down. Mine the too. I think we all agree. I, yeah. I think every reader like yeah. started yeah. with Belle as her we favorite. We gravitate. Yeah. That's the general consensus. Absolutely. I was definitely Belle many Halloweens in a row. Yeah. 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 With yeah. a homemade yeah. costume yeah. and everything. <laughs> and we're Florida Florida girls, so like Disney mm -hmm. adults all the way. Oh, yes. yeah. It's a A hundred percent. Any excuse to go, it's awesome. Right? <laughs> so how did you come up with the like why did you choose the white shoes and your different males like where did that come from as you were um going through the retelling process yeah we um well fantasy romance has always been our absolute favorite genre um we love we love exploring the romance in these high fantasy settings um and we we were sort of at crossroads about what we were going to write next and so we were looking at the market and looking at what people were reading and what people were interested in and we noticed that in the why choose genre, um, people were really excited about it, but um, it was mostly like a lot of really dark romance was in it. It was some mm -hmm. more urban paranormal, more billionaire or mafia. And there wasn't a ton of it with that high fantasy. And we thought mm -hmm. to ourselves that that was sort of a, uh, a gap in the market that needed to be mm -hmm. filled. And we thought, well, we can fill it. We, we've got a story, so. There you go. Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind awesome. of where we slipped in there. Yeah. No, I love it I because I agree. Really it, you're, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we were saying like, um, what we really liked about Why Choose was the fact like not only getting to explore like Rosalina's relationship with um, four different princes, but also like their relationships with each other, whether it's romantic mm -hmm. or brotherly or enemies and whatnot. Mm -hmm. That's also a really fun dynamic too. <laughs> yeah, no, I, lo I love all the different relationships in your books. I do feel like that makes it very unique, <laughs> especially even just in the like fantasy romance category absolutely because yeah. it explores like a lot of relationships and voices that don't necessarily always get told mm -hmm. so i think that's really nice and how different each prince is like their personalities mm -hmm. they're all so totally different so like Keltarian in the first book i was like within his fur like the first time i saw him i was like oh he's like the beast like the yeah. one that's like <laughs> yeah right beauty, <laughs> there's beauty and then yeah. there's yeah. the beast but then there's all these other complex princes mm -hmm. that are like totally different and it just like adds so much depth to it. Yeah, we just, our favorite thing is exploring characters. So getting to, you know, have four or five main mm -hmm. male characters is yes. so much fun. Mm -hmm. We just, yeah, we love to play around with that. 
That's amazing. Nice. That's and cute. I love that Rosalina like never lost her spunk. Like, there's all these like strong <laughs> so princes spunky. in the room, and she's like, "I'm gonna throw a bread roll at you, or like, <laughs> like let me give you my sass. Like, I'm gonna tell you how this is gonna go." <laughs> totally. We we joke that Rosalina keeps them in line because they're all so dumb. Yes. 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 In true yes. Belle yes. fashion. So yes. I right? love how yes. you wrote that. Just she kept yes. that strength of her personality amongst everything. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Becca? Oh, you already asked. Oh, her. no, I didn't I ask like, my question. I'm not my turn. <laughs> I totally skipped right over my question. You're what? You want me to ask it? No. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so out of, I guess, all your characters, I was thinking more of your princes, but I guess if you want to go all, all, of them. all of your characters, yeah. if you could go on vacation with any of them, who would you choose and why? It's such oh a good God. question, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Makes you think, though. That's why I was like, I can't give a yeah. I think they would all be fun in a different way. Or some of them could be very bad travelers. Yeah, like, I'm I gonna, <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, I because I think you would be like that dad core trying to get everyone at the airport, 7 a.m., yeah. checking right. your bags. Like, I guess he's organized, but be a little annoying. I think I'm going to say... Dayton because he's like very mm-hmm. outgoing and he looks like he'd be a lot of fun and I'm more like shy party, so yeah. you know he can like bring out you know more the hidden side yeah. I feel like a cruise that is would, yeah that would be good I feel like me and Farron would be <laughs> yeah. on the same speed we'd be like you got the books the the snacks the mm-hmm. drinks let's go sit on the beach <laughs> I'm just gonna shave you know and uh then we can go have a nap and you know <laughs> that's too crazy that's probably my speed yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. I like I it. it I love, I love it, it. Yes. I feel like I agree with you that Dayton would be like totally the life of the party but also like you might not make it home. <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep them in line, and you might lose your things or get lost. Or do it to but you'll have no. great agree. stories yep. if that's yeah. the case. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. agreed, agreed. That's so funny. <laughs> All right, so what is next for Beast of the Briar? So right now we're working on the fourth book, which is Broken Woo-hoo. by Daylight. Yay! And Woo-hoo. it comes out in September. Um, but we're also currently like working on like the whole series plan. So the whole series is seven books. So wow. oh wow, wow. always known exactly how it's going to end. But right now we're just making sure we're hitting each beat in what books and making sure it's all very laid out because now we're getting very deep into the world and the character dynamics. We want to make sure we don't miss anything in any of the books and everything is like perfectly planned and all the foreshadowing comes to fruition for all these things. So yes. we're deep in like building and. World That's building incredible. stuff. That is. Yeah. That's amazing. And yeah. then uh, Broken by Daylight, which is book four, is out on September 10th. So we... Yeah, That's just nine so months Yay. Away, you know, Or just under. <laughs> and um, yeah, when with Beast of the Briar series on July 18th, um, they're actually coming out in hardcover in like the UK and Commonwealth, excluding Canada. Oh, oh that's so exciting. Oh. Voyager and it's new line Magpie. So very exciting things yeah, coming that's up. That's awesome. So Congratulations. Congratulations. And if you're a North American like us, you can still order the hardcovers if you're interested on uh, Waterstones. They, mm-hmm. they ship worldwide. So. Yeah, Ooh, fantastic. Nice. Okay. That's good to know. That's amazing. That's some exciting yeah. stuff. Yeah, you've got a lot going on. What's that like planning out like seven books in your head? <laughs> like, how do you keep track of that? Uh, <laughs> well, we use a we have like a Word doc, which actually Beautiful. needs to be more organized. But it's got all of our notes, and we use a whiteboard. Um, but like, what it's like? It's like honestly the dream. Like, we have been wanting to tell stories, mm-hmm. especially these high fantasy. Lawn mm-hmm. series, yes. you know, we grew up loving and to be able to like actually know we're going to write a series till the end and we'll have like readers read it and come along for the journey. Like it's pretty amazing. Yeah, oh, it's, awesome. it's been really great. I mean, it's hard for me. We always joke that I'm like very forgetful <laughs> <and> so, <laughs> because we pretty much know everything that's going to happen up to the end, but I forget that not everyone else knows it. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's really bad, but I'm like being so careful because whenever I'm on a podcast, I'm always like, oh, this happens. And they're like, what? We (laughs) have podcast in live we've done. We call her like Tom Holland that Elizabeth has spoiled something. So, so far, I've been like kind of listening for her. (laughs) She hasn't yet, but I'm going to keep an eye on her. Like, I Um, just, we just did another podcast and I spoiled something and I'm like, okay, I got to be super. Cut it out. Cut it out. Yeah. We, we completely understand the spoiler. We 
one of our little pre-recorded buttons is talking about how there are spoilers yeah. so be careful oh, nice. and the tiktok algorithm has like ruined us like we literally almost started a war on tiktok because <laughs> oh, we're no. we like always put oh there's spoilers everywhere if you listen to us you know we're gonna mm -hmm. be spoilers well we can't control what goes on the for you page right. so we were talking True. about a very well-known book and we we talked about a huge spoiler and oh, we put it dear. in our caption um, yeah but we literally i think we almost started world war three like it take was this down it was oh, no. so oh, so no. bad we felt so bad but we were also like it says spoilers it says spoilers also, <laughs> it's so so really hard. Hard. I, and yeah. we do that too there's like a balance of like well how much can we talk about book three because we want to market yeah, that right but my yeah. Many people haven't read book one, so there's such a balance too, and there's only so much you can do. And for me, right, it's, exactly, it's spoiler, true. and I'm like, oh, I gotta read this book now. I don't know. Mm -hmm. totally. Doesn't really yeah. Yeah. spoilers don't hurt sometimes. No, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. we have a very like podcast, like specific to our podcast niche question. Okay, okay. awesome. No. Just we, did not. we just remembered it. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys like soup? Yes. I love soup. I love soup. <laughs> we are soup people. And so okay. we have to know what is your favorite soup to make or what is your favorite soup to eat? Hmm. Is, okay. is chili a soup? Oh. Uh, it's, I, it's, it's soup adjacent, like, right? It's stew-like. Yeah. It's soup adjacent. I love it's soup adjacent. Soup adjacent. Soup adjacent. And I it love to make a good rest. chili. I don't know if that, mm. if I'm That's in I agree. Yeah. I think that yeah. works. Yeah. I agree with you. Walking the line. I do love that. <laughs> Okay, um, well, my favorite kind of soup I don't eat all the time, I have two answers, <laughs> is French <laughs> onion soup. I think it's just delicious. But yes. also, if I could only eat, like, one soup for the rest of my life, it would be, like, a good classic chicken noodle. You know, mm -hmm. you can't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. French onion really soup good. with like the bread on top is really good. My aunt makes yeah. it for me yes. sometimes and it's so good. <laughs> Has anyone tried the Zupa Toscana at um, Olive Garden? Yes. Because that's so yes. good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm soup. so glad you said that because I had no clue how to like pronounce Same. it. I always <laughs> just like points. You're welcome. I'll take this one, please. <laughs> yes, it's so good. What do you think is yours? Oh, oh, we probably talked about this on, but <laughs> they don't know. Yeah. Um, well, one time for our, we threw this like, insane halloween like yes. multi-course dinner party and i made this um what's the word um <laughs> <laughs> the big butternut the big squash butternut squash uh, that's <laughs> butternut squash soup <laughs> the squash <laughs> with like a coconut cream on top it was incredible so, i was gonna say that one if you didn't ex include chili i was gonna say butternut yeah, squash yes. 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 delicious do you have a favorite? Are you not a soup so, girl? No, I do love soup. We've had this discussion about soup before. <laughs> yeah, yes, we have. <laughs> and I'm vegetarian, so my soups differ sometimes from other people. Um, but I do love a good split pea. A nice. good split oh, pea nice. soup. I don't think I've ever had It's really good. Soup. My mom oh, makes my it like a homemade one that's really, really good. Oh. Like it's like just the blending thingy in it. And it's like so smooth and creamy and it's just like very mm -hmm. hearty. And like on a cold winter day, not here yeah. in Florida, clearly, but where I'm from in the Northeast, it's like a good split pea soup. I feel like your yes. homework really is to go and discover what the princes and yes. other people's yeah. favorite soups yes. are. Yes. Soup. Favorite Rather soups describe some soups so, coming yeah. up, I think. Yes. yes. I know. Has Rosalina I feel like that could be, you know, a place, I, I don't know. Right? Yeah. Soup homework, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Becca, what about you? I make, I, I make so many soups, <laughs> and I love them all. And I think it's just because I just made one of my best broths yet is I, I like the Vietnamese pho soup and Ooh. that's probably one of my favorites. Mm. But also I make a killer chicken noodle soup. Classic. Um, what else? You're she so makes confident a... in your soup making. Oh, oh she's so good. <laughs> oh, like, I will you could ask anyone. Her... I believe you. I do. I'm just saying. You're, and you're very confident. In it. It. And I'm allergic to dairy, so all of mine are dairy free. Nice. And her French onion soup, like, mm. is so good. Even with non dairy cheese, like, it's. It's <laughs> I, and like I'm, I'm a cheese vegan, girl. so I'm always down for like yes, a non dairy. Yes, I love it. You, got a good soup. you <laughs> could eat my French onion soup. Oh my yeah. god, amazing! Yes. And you, you could eat it's my vegan. split pea soup as well. When you guys are here in Florida this October, <laughs> apparently we'll we're just gonna have a soup party. party. Yeah. party. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 just in time for your release and a soup. We can have a soup party release. A soup party launch. Yes, I love it. That's so funny. 
Um, Ooh, I do have another question. Yeah. What are some of your favorite tropes Ooh, that you guys see, yes. either that you like to include or that you love to read about? Um, well, as a really broad trope, I think nothing really beats for me enemies to lovers and like yes. writing yes. them hating each other at first or just writing like the villain in a way where the actions are probably bad. But then if you go back and you read it, you can see it in a different light when you learn more. Mm -hmm. Like that's my very favorite thing to do. And writing dialogue that like on the first read seems one way where it's just very enemies to lovers. But if you go yes. back and you read it after you read like a four books or so, it's going to have a new meaning. Like that's yeah. my very favorite trope to read and write. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 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 Very and specific kind of. Like a, a no, I love that. Of, no, I love it. <laughs> Um, I love who did this to yeah. you. I just think <gasps> oh, yes, like yes. yes, that feeling of like protection or mm -hmm. you know someone and also understanding. Yes. That, like, well, Rosalina thought everyone would feel think she's you know okay. Actually, I shouldn't say anything more. I don't know how much spoilers we're gonna do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's not me. So it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. we, we know what you mean. Though. We know what you're you. That's your problem. Not like just spoilers from books that have been out. You spoil <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that's a problem. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> yes, um, I we get yeah, it. I think that trope is just so elite, and you can do it in so yeah, many different sweet. ways and so many different fashions. And yeah, that's I think my favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh but, yeah, we we love tropes. We love a good. Those trope. are both stellar. I love both of them. Yes, I love those. <laughs> Any other questions before we? Can we can answer? Oh, yes. yes. Okay. So, so technically then we have three questions to ask. <laughs> you want to go ahead and okay, ask well, it? I, Do you guys like Taylor Swift? Oh, yes. yeah. We're okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so if your book was a Taylor Swift song, what song would it be? This is hard. We have a lot like, of cool it is hard. notes of all these different songs. Um, I'm gonna say like a new one from the Taylor's version of Speak Now is we can maybe we'll both say one. I bet you have one too. Um, is Castles Crumbling? It's like one of her new ones. Yes. Oh, yes. oh, I love I that. They yes. are so perfect. Castle tree is crumbling, and so it is. Yes. the princes so well, and it's kind of a new one. So I don't really have any like prior memories where I've like cried my heart out to it. So I can like <laughs> <laughs> can attribute it to this. Yes, yeah. I love it. No, absolutely. Um, yeah, we have like specific Taylor Swift songs for everything. So um, <laughs> I would say I'm not sure for the whole series. I think Castle Crumbling for the whole series mm -hmm. is good. But we said um, for Bonded by Thorns, Enchanted, yeah. also from Speak Now. Yes, oh, yes. yes. So sort of summed up. Mm -hmm. Rosalina in that one. Yeah. Yes, I would have said that as well. Yeah, Agreed. Yeah. I love that. I love that you had answers already so for it. Yeah. I thought about this in time. Yeah. <laughs> so we always end our podcast with, I guess, two questions. Um, what kept you home this week? And what kept you awake this week? I'm so sorry we forgot to warn you that this is part of our... <laughs> okay. Okay. Interesting. More things we didn't we know. We can go first. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. So what kept me home? I'm still kind of in the process of like home renovations. Oh, so yes. like Good. it's been busy and, um, that has definitely been keeping me home and keeping me up. I would say this tonight. Cause like I've totally been fan girling. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what kept me home? I literally haven't been home this week. Like this is a bad <laughs> Nothing kept you home. Um, I guess sleep. Like yeah. sleep. <laughs> sleep was the reason sleep we went home. Sleep, sleep is yes. Sleep. And then oh my gosh, yeah, I've planned out. So the soup question. I I am literally making three soups this week. So <laughs> that I guess is. <laughs> You just have a soup diet? Is well, that a soup? No, but it's just, <laughs> it's soup. gotten into the, like, 50s to 70s here. Which it has, is which is soup, cold. For, which yeah. is cold for us. It's yeah. our soup season. Soup season. <laughs> yeah. It's a soup season, yes. Um, and then what kept me awake? I'm going to steal your answer. Like, this definitely has been keeping me awake also. Oh. <laughs> me? You? Neither yes. one. You. Go ahead. Uh, me, well, so I got back from England, like, a week and a half ago or so. Wait, what? And Amazing. <laughs> And I was like, all these plants, like all these really cool photos, but it's with family. And so then it, they weren't that cool of photos. So, uh, <laughs> but when we got home, my husband and I stupidly decided to like, in the process of unpacking to redo our like bedroom and like de-junk it. So for the past week, we've just been sleeping in the guest room 
because our whole bed has been covered with all the stuff we're trying to do junk. So oh. that finally got cleaned up this week. I can sleep in my own bed. Yay. And then keeping up, I was so excited for this podcast. Oh. And last night I was up until like four in the morning doing romantic book con stuff, which oh, yeah. is like super fun to me. So yes. that's so excited. So excited. Oh, and yay. I'm so excited that was yeah. really fun. So yay. <laughs> Great plug, by the way. That was just like <laughs> that in. Plug. Yeah. Because I think we're all a part of that, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. We're all so a part of perfect. it. Perfect. Yes. Um, okay. So I would say the thing that kept me home is that we have had a lot of work with Romana Book Con that we've been working yeah. on. And I'm currently building a piece for a photo shoot we're actually going to be doing with these lovely ladies. Um, so I've been working on that. So that's kept me home sort of working on that and some other things. Um, and then what's kept me up is, again, I'm just going to jump on the bandwagon and say this. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, been, yes, you. it's Pretty so exciting. Yes, it's very exciting. Oh, so we're, we're happy. I'm so excited yeah. to be here. Yay. Uh, okay, what's kept me home? Well, we it's minus, and I don't know this in Fahrenheit because we're Canadian. <laughs> so it's 10 degrees Celsius here. So that's oh. 10 below zero. And zero that sounds cold. cold. Yeah. So it's snowing. Um, so I've been home um, and I got... I've been playing a game called Baldur's Gate 3. It's like D&D. I've heard of that. Yeah. Yes. It's very, yes. very fun. It's very role play heavy and immersive. And I recently Love downloaded, it. like I thought I was like a gamer girl, a mod. <laughs> character really cute. So I'm like, oh my gosh, she's adorable. I love this. <laughs> um, what's kept me awake is a little, we've been also in the back of our minds planning a new book. And it's Christmas uh, themed. Ooh. And I'm yes. very, very excited about it. So I just cannot stop thinking about it and writing little notes down. It'll be an after Beast of the Fire project, but it's like very exciting when a yes. new idea takes I root. I love Christmas. So, so exciting. exciting. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> it's yeah. fantasy book, yeah. That's so exciting. Yeah, what's kept me home? Um, we have just, again, like been planning like crazy. Mm -hmm. So all of this plotting, like when we're in the plotting stage, it's sort of like boot camp where it's like <laughs> everything is about on the whiteboard, you yeah. know, you know that like right. Charlie Day meme where he's like pointing to all the things yes. 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 <laughs> yes. trying to figure it out. So um, we've just been sort of really going crazy on that. Um, so that's been keeping me home and then keeping me up, um, not to sound too nerdy and adding on to your thing Bring about it. playing Baldur's Gate, but we've Please. been, we play Dungeons and Dragons and we oh, oh a my goodness. very long session on the weekend yes. and stayed I up way, it. way too late and it's like mess with my bedtime. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, very nerdy, but uh, it was very no, fun. I know like that's so good yeah. as well as like writers to be able to do that and just right, like dive exactly. into that role playing It fits world. like perfectly into that yeah. world, right? It does. And yeah. yeah we've, we've stolen, my husband is like, it's called the Dungeon Master. He like makes the game. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I know who he is. Yeah. Oh, sure. awesome. <laughs> Uh, he's a DM, and like so we've stolen things he's done that yeah. are in like Beast of the Briar. Yes, I love it. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, just a couple quick shout outs. A huge thank you to Pines to Palms Coffee and Ormond Beach for hosting us yes. tonight. A huge shout out to Fern and Fable Books in Ormond Beach, who's a sponsor of Tipsy Book Reads. Make sure to follow Elizabeth Helen on social media. Yes. Follow. Fable Thanks. Fantasy Fable. Events. Thank you. Yeah. It's a dust poster. Well, it that is. and we just said another fantasy. You said another fantasy. Yeah, yeah. yeah so there's like lots of true. burns lots and fair. Lots of fantasy and going around. Fair. And then, of course, Tipsy Book, book Reads. <laughs> and um, we hope to see everybody at the Romantic Book Con. It's yeah. going to be so October. fun. We're so and excited. Keep you guys a look are, out. You guys are sold out of the first tier, right? Or the highest tier? Yeah. yeah. The, That's amazing. The Friday and Saturday day ones are sold out. So the other ones are going quickly. Yes. I'm a little nervous. Anyways, yeah, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. We yes, really appreciate thank you. It's so nice it's to meet you. Oh, so nice to meet you. you. So nice to meet everyone. <laughs> so excited for Romance. Yes. Oh, yay. Yeah, we're, we're so excited, excited to like, see you later this year. Yeah, yes. new book. Do you have anything to add really quick? Any shout outs, any tags, any Instagrams? Or... Uh, just thank you for listening and thank you to Tipsy Books Reads for having us. We're so uh, excited to be here and we cannot wait to see everyone at Romantic Book. Yeah, yeah. thank you guys Yay. so much. <laughs> All right, All right. Nice. We're good. stay tipsy. Bye. Bye. Bye.